What word comes to mind when you think of the current generation of console gaming? I bet a lot of you would probably say... MID! Common sentiment regarding this generation of video games is that it's disappointing, with contributing factors being the PS5 and Series X showing little, if any, visual improvement compared to their predecessors. A more obvious factor would be the seemingly lackluster collection of games released in this generation. Xbox owners got Reddit the video game. Oh god. Oh god, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Hey, hey, what the fuck? You left me again. I'm, I'm not- If you leave me again, I swear to god I'm gonna kill myself. Perhaps the most divisive Bethesda game since Fallout 76, and a Halo game that seemed to be well received. However, it requires internet connection even if you're just playing campaign. Why? Because the gaming industry hates the consumer. Don't even get me started on PlayStation games. There's a whole meme regarding the PlayStation. Everyone says, oh, the PS5 has no games. There's no games! It's a, it's a Netflix box, there's nothing! And that's just false. It's got God of War Ragnarok, Spider-Man 2. The great electric spider. Um, uh, the last one, yeah, the last one. Does, does The Last of Us Part 2 count? I know it was initially released only on last gen, but given how late in that system cycle it was released, I'm sure this could be considered a PlayStation 5 class. Oh. Uh, how about we ignore the console exclusives and check out the non-exclusive next gen titles? Elden Ring had the biggest cock on the block when it released. Everyone loved it. Well, almost everyone. Baldur's Gate 3 showed that smaller game studios could be capable of AAA quality. But then you have games like Modern Warfare 3, which was such a blatant cash grab in that it reuses assets from the first game in its campaign, and the change in mechanics could have just been implemented in a patch update. Skull and Bones took game mechanics from a 10-year-old game and somehow managed to make it devoid of any fun. Quadruple A my ass. Sports games? Okay, I might be cheating with this one because sports games in general have not had any form of innovation for about a decade at this point. Doesn't change the fact that they piss me off. I just want to play franchise past year five for fuck's sake! Good games still do exist in this current generation. It's just that, compared to past generations, it seems like games of high quality are now so far and few between. Which brings me to the subject of this video. I want to talk about a game that I feel went under the radar when it released. That game is Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. You're probably thinking, wait, this game? Wasn't this game developed by IDOS Montreal? And you would be correct. Now you may be thinking, didn't they develop another game based on Marvel characters that a lot of people didn't like? Also correct, but that game was live service, so it was pretty much destined to fail. Most live service games aren't going to be Helldivers. I remembered enjoying this game when I first purchased it, and since I do not have $40 on hand for Helldivers 2, I figured why not give this game another go. It might be as good as I remember. Well, I decided to find out if that was true. I also decided to make a video out of it because why not? I hope you guys enjoy. The game opens up with a flashback sequence at the Quill residence. We are put into a first person perspective of a 13 year old Peter Quill, who is jamming out to Star Lord, a band and album made for this game. Going the extra mile to create an entire space metal band and album with a track list and Rolling Stone article to accompany it really helps immerse yourself into the world. Unfortunately, space metal or power metal or really any metal genre isn't my cup of tea, so I did not really care for this album. Nevertheless, I still appreciate the extra mile the devs went to. After reading Rolling Stone for a bit, we get a knock at the door. Boy, I wonder you can hear me. Is that your new tape? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty
pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma! What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm -hmm. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, he'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. I decided to finally get Peter out of bed. And good God, maybe you got rid of that old yee yee ass haircut. I know this is supposed to be the 1980s or whatever, but I would not want to be caught dead with whatever that is on Peter's head. You're free to check out Peter's room that's filled with various knickknacks and trinkets before you leave and enter darkness. Quill, 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 Quill. Peter Quill, Quill, wake up. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. We are now in the present day on the Guardian's ship, the Milano. From that brief interaction, we can see that there's some tension in the team, as Drax does not trust Gamora due to her previous allegiance with his sworn enemy, that being Thanos. Peter puts on his glorified band merch and mogs himself in front of the mirror. Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. Are you Groot? I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confidence. Oh yeah, there's a dialogue system in this game. <laughs> Arrested? For what? <laughs> our ship just accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops, our navigation malfunctioned. Some dialogue choices are pointless, some give insight to characters, and some can even change the story. Keep that in mind for later. After that short discussion, I decided to see what Rocket was up to. Nice gizmos, Rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. <laughs> How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? Eh, it goes more like, uh, wah, wah, wah! Hey, holla, rocket! Stop this ruckus at once! <laughs> And then the monster comes a-running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? So this is what I know from my interactions with the crew so far. We are trespassing to the quarantine zone, which is very illegal to capture some sort of monster for a client. So basically, standard work for the Guardians. I also decided to increase the game difficulty because why not? I'm playing on New Game Plus after all. Seeing as how I've spoken with all Guardians except for one, I figured I should see what Gamora was up to. Hey, that's my chair. 
Oh. Then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Not wanting to waste any more time, I decided to get this show on the road. Rocket crew, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. If we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova net still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the Assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. We finally enter the quarantine zone. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks at the drop site. The ground's too unstable to land the ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, group. Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. Thumper one, done. Meet you at the rendezvous point. Peter, Rocket, and Groot set off to lure the monster while Gamora and Drax stay behind on the Milano. This gives Rocket an opportunity to reminisce with Peter and Groot on a time before Drax and Gamora, seeing as how they're recent additions to the team. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you know who joined us. I am Groot. I do not hate everybody. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. You're only saying that because she's listening. Is that why your plan has Drax and I taking the ship? Maybe. Hey, can't a guy want to spend some quality time with his friends? As you saw, I decided to defend Drax and Gamora. I figured it would be more fitting for Peter's character, as he desperately wants to earn the respect of his team. Also, I failed to mention this earlier, but there are components that are scattered throughout mission areas that can be collected and used to upgrade Peter, from his blasters, to his health, to his visor. I just wanted to clear that up before I continue. After trekking for a bit, the trio comes across a passage blocked by some sort of gunk. Luckily, my blasters are easily able to shoot through them. After some more trekking, we come across some sort of cocoon that I shoot down, after which Rocket offers us a challenge. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. This wager, which I will end up taking way too seriously, will be present throughout this segment of the game. Shortly after this, Peter gets separated from the other two. It was- ah! Ah! Amazing! I should have been recording! Bridge over! I want to see if he's alive. I don't know, but he's twitching. Clark it, Scott Stain, Will. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... I thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. And so I go on my merry way to catch up. While on my solo excursion, 
I come across these bouncing things. I think they're called Voxaplodes. Anyways, they are not harmless at all, so I gotta take care of business. After taking care of said business, I continue my way back to Rocket and Groot. After reuniting with the others, we are introduced to the team mechanic of the game. All right, Groot, let's see that cool vine. Oh, yeah. Each team member has at least one ability that can assist with traversal and combat, with Groot being able to construct bridges to travel over large gaps. Oh yeah, Peter and Rocket still have that wager with those ship eater things. God, don't y'all just love gambling over dumb shit? Continuing on our journey, the gang discusses what course of action we should take should Nova Corps, basically the intergalactic police, find us in this very illegal area. Bad idea. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here, even if it means leaving us behind. Ah, uh, flark bat! Trust me, I've dealt with Nova Corps before, even helped them catch real criminals. I can talk my way out. You think that Milano can outrun a fully powered Nova Centurion? She's done it before. Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No, no! Flark and Skaggy! Attack and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Yeah, maybe you're gonna want to use your visor for this. You find a replacement while I finish scraping the fried wires. This is where we get introduced to the visor. Basically, this thing helps find items you need or solve puzzles. It's essentially the detective mechanic that's become standard in superhero games. After spending way too much time looking for a battery, I finally found one for Rocket to use. Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So, uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Guardians mode is introduced here, and I cannot emphasize enough how helpful it can be for dealing with enemies. Firefights in this game can last a good while, especially on hard difficulty. Guardians can heavily reduce time in combat, and I am extremely grateful for this. After settling that whole situation, we are now off to planting the remaining thumpers. Come on, two down, two to go. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? Guys, this job is a huge deal. It's for the freaking monster queen of Seknarf 9. She just doesn't know it yet. We pull this off and we're- Lady Hellbender's intergalactic monster anglers? I do prefer that name, but the acronym is unwieldy. No. We're still the Guardians of the Galaxy, but people will know that name means quality. We'll have clients competing to hire us, people bigger than Lady Hellbender. <laughs> that is doubtful. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Lady Hellbender is the client that we're going through all this trouble for. Man, that thing is ridiculous. Think it was a ship or a robot? That's a Cree Century, a robot, but it would have been space worth. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. How do you know all this? Because they were my fellow experiments back on Half-World. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so, uh, I got a sneak peek at all the new killbots. I could see the parts come and go from my, uh... Uh, my cage. I didn't mean to open old wounds. Ah. Most of them are just scars now anyways. One of my favorite aspects of this game are the conversations the characters have in moments of calm. They develop the characters and help establish a certain bond. They make you as a player feel as though you're part of an actual team. The entire facility was the problem. I wish I'd gone back and blown it up before the end of the war. Oh look, there's a whole bunch more ship eaters to shoot at. I'll be damned if I let Rocket beat me. You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. 
I think my points should count double from now on. You fucking dick! We installed the third thumper. Wow, God, try saying that three times fast. And since Rocket wants to test this one out to make sure we don't have a setback like we did with the last one, we gotta ward off waves of creatures that are attracted to the sound. And as much as I love this game, I have to admit that the combat at times can get really repetitive. It's gotten so bad that there would be points in the game where I dread seeing open areas because I know exactly what's coming up and I know just how... <laughs> Just how draining it could be to go through a combat section because, again, super repetitive process. Oh, come on! Now we gotta deal with junk slugs? My exact reaction. Nice splatter, Rocket! I know, right? What was that worth? Five points? Oh, come on! You can't just give yourself points like that! Sure I can! I know it's not supposed to be taken seriously, but it is infuriating over how much Rocket is trying to fuck me over on this wager. Yes! The resin can hold a stupid warship! <laughs> I'm telling you, it's totally safe. See? I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. Rocket? Oh, fuck. Saving me! I love you too, you selfless son of a truck. Come on, Coral. He says I'll meet us at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. So we're off to regroup with Groot after that whole thing happened. Groot's fine, anyways. There's nothing to worry about. An accident, Rocket? Come on! What? That's all it was. It's your fault! If you hadn't fooled around on that ship... I did it! You don't know nothing. Stop trying to be smart. That sure didn't sound like an apology. Nope. Man! If that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't. Because we have to find a way through this thing. And we do find a way through. As Rocket, being a manlet, is able to get into a vent and force an opening in the afterburner. <sighs> Can you squeeze in there? Knew it. Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. See anything? Yeah, a manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our thumper points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around to scout another spot. Just make sure the new spot as close as possible to the original one. Because of maps and angles. Great. Another turbine. I will not let him win. We're back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Hope he didn't get the strap. Crap, 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 crap! It wasn't me this time, I swear! I don't like this! Yes, even in the face of death, I am still focused on beating Rocket. Big, Big whoop, whoop, wanna, wanna fight, fight about, about it? it? Rocket and Peter continue to slide down to what should have been their untimely death had it not been for Gamora and the Milano. Where is- no. Larkin, son of a- I told you I saw them. Great timing! How did you guys- Good to see you two, but you're gonna wanna cross the ship as fast as you can. So, I had to run across the ship, jump a gap, and then run across this platform while flying shit tries to throw me off course. Why is there flying shit? I don't even know. I also don't know how to format this video properly. It just seems like I'm giving play-by-play -play commentary of what is happening on screen. So yeah, uh, th this is a work in progress. Just please bear with me. Peace. Ah. Ah. Yeah. What? My visor went supernova. Is it broken? Uh, overload, it sounds like. Must be some kind of residual energy in here. Okay, so life support's moving back up. What's it look like out there? Holy mother of space bars. No! 
Swarm of old cleaner bots. Maybe. Old cleaner bots. Oh boy, I sure do hope that incident doesn't lead to unforeseen consequences. After that whole thing happened, we set off to plant the last thumper. Sorry about the shooting. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots, <laughs> accidentally, at a distance. I am good. We're totally all right. They just ran away when it saw us, right, Quill? Rocket, I'm not so sure that swarm thing was inoffensive. I feel kind of bad about releasing it. I am good. Quill took a pot shot at this massive worm nest. A chunk of something fell off and the big floaty creature came out of it. That's all. To his credit, I did shoot at the nest first. Look at this old beauty. A table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe it can fix up your gear. Hey. Hand me that part. This is where the components come into use. Rocket can use the components you collected at a workbench to upgrade Peter. This can only be done at a workbench. You cannot upgrade through some sort of pause menu. I got the upgrade that I wanted, and I continued forth. Well, at least I tried to. Set. Well, Scott! Ugh, this place is crawling with ugly! Looks like I'm on my own again. Man, Rocket, you really missed out. That was amazing. Team Rocket. Finally. We couldn't hear you before. Something about the mining ship's been messing up our comms. Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole. Another one. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. We're trying to catch up to him. Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. He is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Noted. While I was trying to regroup with Drax, I shot at some gunk and found something buried under it. Huh. I wonder if Rocket knows what this is. You can find neat collectible stuff like this throughout the course of the game. Make some noise so we can find you. How freaky! Kill it! You read my mind! This thing refuses to die! I can barely scratch it! Kill it harder! I'm killing it as hard as I can! You know, it would be really cool if I could get some help with this. Peter Quill! Hide behind me! I will protect you! Nobody's hiding! Oh, thank God. Another one of these things also decides to give us some trouble, and that's when Gamora decides to join in. I just love hearing their shouts. <laughs> Indeed. You greenies found Quill yet? Found and saved. Hey. Go on ahead then. We'll catch up. Just making a uh, pit stop. I parked the Milano near the last thumper spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. How's my baby? You can see for yourself if we can get back up there. 
Gamora is able to help by slicing down a giant block, while Drax moves said block so it can be used as a platform. Oh, Flark. Rocket. Oh, Not now, Quill. Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague, it was rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. Ideal specimen would reflect on strength. Like I said, something scary. Disagree. Strength is endearing. My little Camaria and her mother Hovat were two of the strongest people who ever lived. With a name like Hellbender, Gamora's probably right. It's gotta be something scary. Nightmarish. A proper apex predator. Snarling and nasty. More teeth than all of us combined. Bat-like wings with razor tips. Probably spits poison or acid. Or acidic poison. I hope all these are true. I yearn for a worthy challenge. Bro! Careful! We're We're running. Well, you got some time and we got company. I think this is the first combat section where all guardians are available. God, it has taken us forever to get to this point. After noticing my team getting completely overwhelmed, I decided to call in a huddle. Guys, huddle up! It feels like they're everywhere, laughing at us! And yet, we cannot retreat. No one wants to retreat, big guy, but I gotta say, it's barking scary out there, Quill. Darts on the field, danger on all sides. Then it's time we stand and face it and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Feel my wrath! Yeah! When you correctly assess your team in the huddle, all of the guardians get a damage boost. However, assess incorrectly, only Peter gets increased damage. Also, copyrighted music plays while it's in effect. So, I am desperately trying to figure out how long or how loud I have to speak to make sure that this video remains visible. Okay, I think we're finally ready to place the last thumper and confront this monster. This is it. Last spot. Wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> Ow! Is it uh doing it? What? It appears to be broken! Ain't nothing broke! That's the sound it's supposed to make! What sound? You can't hear that! Hear what? Catch our monster. Hey, that thing is fast. I really do not want to admit this, but it took me much longer than it should have for me to realize that instead of going after the creature directly, I'm supposed to destroy anything it can hide behind. To be more specific, I'm talking about the stacks of bricks that the game is explicitly highlighting for me to shoot down. I'm not exactly the smartest man alive, okay? After a short bit, we managed to get this thing cornered. Ruth, What is that? Definitely not a monster. Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. I see what I'm seeing. Yes. 
Max is a monster. Well, it looks like we finally found what we've been looking for. Well, that turned out to be a complete waste of time as we now attempt to escape the quarantine zone aboard the Milano. We managed to make it out in the nick of time. Say what you want about this mission being a complete failure and completely falling apart, making it out alive is enough to be considered a victory in my book. Uh, please don't be Nova Corps, please don't be Nova Corps, please don't be Nova Corps. It is Nova Core. Fucking bullshit! Oh my god, why can I never catch a break? And now I gotta fucking deal with these stupid ass cops. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm about to lose it. I'm about to lose my fucking mind. Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter Jason Quill. Really? My middle name? <laughs> hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You've been tanning. This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Come on, Corral. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war. Like, really shady stuff. But junking? I just caught you pink-handed, leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXP-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please. Tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech. More than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class 3 biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide rockets crate. Peter, you're willing to gamble on a space llama thingy? I'll convince Corel the llama's harmless. She knows me. And I know Corel. Not like I did. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop back then. The point is, I can get us out of this, guys. You just gotta trust me. I am Oh, and that would be your boarding party. Peter turned out to be a bit of a whore back in the day. Just speak to Centurion Corral. Silence, prisoner. The commander has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Nova Corps licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero, often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it. 
That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry. Excuse me. I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No. You do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Not to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Yeah, the Guardians are in a very tight spot, and if you thought their pride couldn't take any more hits, they now have to follow the orders of a squeaker. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Everyone just do what they say. When I see Corallo, it's explain... The captain isn't going to see you. According to protocol, you're to be taken straight to the brig. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith energy, no power. No power. No containment. Single the techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Grand Breaker. Unifier. Leader of the Church of Universal something. What an eccentric fellow. I wonder if he will have any impact on the story in the future. As I was saying, you just tell the captain that I- Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Just to be no! super clear you on the mom. Stuff. Well, that certainly escalated quickly. Hey, kid, are you there? No, the girl! <coughs> yeah, 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 I think so. Let me just see if I can... Hold on! I'm sorry. That's my ship! Yes, folks! That goal was it? Nikki? Oh, it's nice to meet you, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like. Trust me, kiddo. We got this. Okay, uh, why would he say that? Come on, we need to get out of here. There's a glass door around the corner, we'll be safe there. Here, help me with this. So it seems like we're following Nikki for the time being. Blast doors kick in during emergencies. Pretty sure I can override them with my passkey. They give out override keys to trainees? Not exactly. Just give me a sec. No, I could probably help with the door if we undid these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on, you clearly need my help. No! You're my prisoner, and I got this. <laughs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. Okay, I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost there. Yes! Got it! Through here! Woo! <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. It seems like Peter and Nikki are getting on well for the time being. You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many of you have? Not that many. Come on, this way. 
Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. You and me both. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, uh, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy. And judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. Pretty sure all kids get annoyed with their moms. But, as you get older, you realize they're right more often than not. Ugh, whatever. Here, Nikki shows us a secret area that she keeps to herself. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know, because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. We have an opportunity to learn more about Corel's past from these paintings made by Nikki. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding. Which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Oh yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You... want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Is this... Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Oh look, that room looks mildly interesting. Hey! Secret stuff! Off limits! No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. Oh man. I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I... Never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me! Never saw my passkey! You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. Mom? Shit. <sighs> Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad? Running around with criminals? Alleged criminals? You almost died! Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah. I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! 
You know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in an elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she... Ew! What is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, um, this game does have moments of pretty good comedy. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh wow, I thought she was at least 16. Jesus Christ. Okay, R. Kelly. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hack them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know, beep bop boop. Aw, oh, hell yeah. That could probably come into use later. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. <sighs> so, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewie. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same... I've changed! Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still... Whatever it is you're gonna finish that sentence with. You're gonna pay 8,000 units in three cycles? Wow, okay, that is a lot of money. I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a Class II biohazard wandering around your ship. That's yeah, all they found, right? Okay, okay, you'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? Oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it! I promise. So, yeah, they get frisky, and turns out Peter might be a deadbeat dad. You've got three cycles, Peter. Sometimes not four, I not five, I've three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. So, new current objective. Raise enough units to pay off the fine that we owe the Nova Corps. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? 
And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. So off we go to scrounge around for some extra units. While on my search, I decided to go to my quarters where I began to reflect on my past before I would end up being interrupted by Gamora. Hey Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out and... Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um, was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Danta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime, about three years into my sentence. Wait, Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were, and they also weren't. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. I'm not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> Let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yondu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... you know. They hit just as many resistance ships, until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yondu ended up on Shatari Prime, with you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged. If that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first few years it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which... Now that I'm hearing it would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around.
not really important, but I'm glad it was clarified as to how everybody spoke the same language as Peter. In so many sci-fi stories, all the alien races seem to know English for some reason, and it, it would drive me insane as to how English seems to be the only language in the entire universe. So I was happy to hear that the reason English was widely spoken in this universe was simply due to the fact that Peter had an implant that automatically translated whatever somebody was saying. Two votes each. Peter? Groot just made more optical sense to me. Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Off we go to con Lady Hellbender so we can make some quick cash. You can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Before we began our scheme, I decided to do some snooping around Rocket's room. Why does this thing look so sinister? Hey! Who said you could touch that? I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, 
You should really get that checked. You sound like a tour. I don't snore that loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? It kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course, a, a spinal control thingy. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists used these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half-World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon. You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. <sighs> what we didn't know, what I didn't know, was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quill. Ah, oh, rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. Well, that was depressing as shit. Thanks, Rocket, for that trauma dump. Off we go now to meet Lady Hellbender. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. And it's not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. We have to traverse through weather that is supposed to be harsh, but let's be honest, this is just Florida in the middle of August. Hey, Stormlord! We ain't seriously walking through this! It'll take forever in this storm! Stop complaining! The hardship will strengthen your spirit! We won't walk, we'll hike! It'll be fun! Woohoo! Team hiking trip! That's just a fancy word for walking! Come on, at least you won't be bored! Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady help. That was way too close. Like I said, Florida in August. We should have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am Groot. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. So be wary, Rudy. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. But ah! And now we enter combat against a bunch of cubes of jello. Well, that was about three minutes I will never get back. Like I said earlier, combat can often get very repetitive and very monotonous. There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! You think it leads to the fortress? Hopefully! This is Seknarf 9. All paths must lead to Lady Hellbender's fortress. When in doubt, just shoot stuff. Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. What the floor? That do 
don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. So it appears that we're heading in the right direction. Oh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. What are you? Do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so you may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Put me down. We're not throwing rocket. Very well. You sons of forking dogs. How will we cross? Don't face Look the around. Box. We'll find another way. Since I did not want to take the risk of Drax accidentally killing Rocket, I have to now look for another path. Wow! It is dark in here! If you bump into any monsters, let us know! Monster Planet! Right! My shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Hey, I found more ruins down here. Ah, perhaps we could fashion a catapult. We're not throwing rocket. But maybe there's something else here. A miracle that's still standing in these storms. Drax, think you can topple this? I really do appreciate that each team member has their own way of being useful. That's great! All right, let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. <sighs> great place to leave a sculpture. Wait, hear that? Eyes oh. up, people! Incoming! <laughs> ah! Yay, another combat arena. Watch the stingers! Watching the bigger one in bags, thanks! Go, Mora! These would've come in handy a second ago! Whoa! They're like flying pigs! Eventually, my health got too low and I ended up dying. However, Groot has the ability to instantly revive me. I swear, he has been so clutch in so many different combat scenarios, it's not even funny. Finally, got that taken care of. Now to continue the journey to Lady Hellbender's fortress. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Seknarf Nine. Ha! <laughs> that, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships? Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? No. Nope. We even sure this is the right way? Yes. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. Anyone know what that is? A monster! You know the deal. Combat section. You know what? I think I'm just gonna breeze through this one. Finish 
the battle! Aw, Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Do I have to? I found a workbench, so I went ahead and got another upgrade for Peter. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure. Ha! It is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Looks like there's a way down here. Well, you gotta see this ship. Okay, here we go. Oh, slimy. Uh, guys? You might want to wait to come down here. The team, minus Gamora, find themselves in a tight spot, stuck and slowly sinking into whatever this red substance is. It appears they're about to meet their untimely demise until something happens with Star-Lord's blasters. What did you just do? Sorcery. So cold. Rocket! Somebody get him out of there! Glasses, they only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls Scott like this. Guess what, come on, dude. Just leave the guns me, alone. Me, I, I, well, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys. DNA coding for Mark's coming some kind of morphing nano Or sorcery. Here we go again. We now have the ability to freeze enemies with Peter's blasters. Certain enemies, such as the ones we are fighting right now, are more susceptible to freezing than others. You can tell which element is best to use against a certain enemy, based on the icon that appears next to its health bar. Of course, you are limited with the amount of shots you're able to take with this element enabled before you have to go through a cooldown period. And yes, as we progress through the story, we unlock more elements to use with our blasters. Later, we find that element blasts are not just restricted for combat. They can help with traversal as well. Oh, come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! <laughs> you are dead! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rockets. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Let's be a lesson I am trying my best to set Peter up to be the best leader he can possibly be, and I don't think risking your team member's health is a good leadership quality, so that's why I declined to toss Rocket for a second time. I once again went through the trouble of finding an alternate path to keep our not-raccoon friend from being at risk of paralysis. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will not break this. Uh, that is disturbingly fragrant. After you. Oh, I'll take that time for you to throw up. One can only imagine this horrific odor. Uh, I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my uh, blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as stud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Oh, 
Peter. Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got to work on your taste, but... The cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our... with our monster peacefully walking beside us? We'll be laughed right out of the room. She does make a valid point. We now just have to take care of whatever is in here and... Oh, great. It's another one of those things. That's... That's terrific. Oh, and... Oh, and... It, <laughs> it's the one whose tail we took. So now we gotta deal with two of these. With one of them being extra pissed at us. They're no match for us, though. As we make easy work of them. Oh, hey, come out. Wanna see some fireworks? Oh, come to me, beast! <laughs> You are coming with me. We better hurry. Oh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey. I just went through the same crap you did, and I smell amazing. Ah, sure you do. It's my sexy hero, Musk. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. What the floor? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a full herd of them? Further evidence that it was just flat out stupid to go into the quarantine zone. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flarkin' infinity bridge, is what it is. Are you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. I guess we gotta go. Recycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the flark thing is looking like we need business. Groot, you ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. I feel like I gotta stick with my guns on this one. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one that I am not being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Drac. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing, like me, only uh, bigger. I agree. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. We now walk the long final stretch to Lady Hellbender's fortress. With the long distance that the team still has to trek, this gives Peter plenty of time to be alone with his thoughts. Don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. We find ourselves back on the day of Peter's 13th birthday. The setup is the exact same as the intro, except this time we can actually leave the basement. Singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Yeah.
upstairs and check out that gift. find ourselves back in the present. Name. Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. <laughs> Attacking tree. That's new. All right. Get going, before I change my mind. It seems like it was a good call to have Groot be the pawn. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a Flarkin army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen Orthos team. I have seen one trample them at the Pope. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. I stand correct. Those ain't true. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chased across the galaxy level of no, at least. Well, we're in too deep now. One can only hope that the plan goes off without a hitch. I am humbled by my dreams, confidences. Spare me your empty Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not claim you are You are not the first to claim they have captured a Taratara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I said, milady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And... Such flesh. Fastest and hardest boner. Quickest quickest uh, speed for getting a boner. Alright. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite... 
forceful. Wait, what? Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, Destroyer. 20,000 units. 20,000? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. 20,000 units is sufficient compensation. No. Damn it! I mean... No. Whoa. Hey there, hi. Star-Lord. Again, the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Trax was just messing with you. 10,000 units would be more than enough. The amount I demanded was not a mistake. Don't you think 10,000 is a more reasonable amount, Drax? I do not. <laughs> He's... He is just kidding. 10,000 units and we'll throw in a coupon. Enough! If I wished to hear Kerr's whine, I'd visit the feeding pens. Nine thousand units for the Flora Colossus destroyer. Nine thousand five hundred and thirty-seven. For the cage. Deal. Okay, it looks like we'll get just enough units to pay off the fine. Now, we gotta find a way to bust Groot out and get away from this place in one piece. The storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be... Thank you. Yo, what the hell? No, no, of course I will. I'll call you. Yo, what the fu- If we want to find Groot, we will first have to get past a bunch of blackout drunk guards. We do things right and be quiet. We'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. Don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for crew. And us. So we trek past the guards while trying to be as quiet as possible. This is not a stealth section. This game is not Metal Gear Solid, and it's fully aware of that. The throne room entrance is down there, so we just gotta, you know. Keep our way across the chasm. Quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold tracks. That's not what I said. We're not Pimp's Rocket, and the plan is going just fine as is. Still, he could have strung her along a little, gotten us closer to Groot or something. I will not use my sexual magnetism deceptively. Spoken like someone who's never dated. Not everyone has to trick someone into a date. This is a strange conversation. I knew just looking at these schools, they couldn't handle their drink. Am I good or am I good? Those were the same options. I prefer these halls when they are not cluttered by drunken louts. Okay. Tracker says. Ah, come on, you skaggy. I knew that thing was junk. 
look. We saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Lottie does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. This here is a puzzle we've got to solve, which can be made possible through our handy dandy visor. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can hack. It's possible. All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble. At once. Let's see what's hiding back there. Think you could have made more noise with that? Of course, but you did not ask. All right, I'm sending the schematic to your visor. Just follow the wiring and tell me which junctions to switch. Oh my god, this is literally just a hacking puzzle from Watch Dogs. Switch this! Done. This one. Oh, here! Yep. Okay, this one goes here and that one goes out! Okay. Yes! So much for being quiet. God, I sound just like an MCU character. I gotta fucking kill myself now. I took care of those guys and went on to continue my work on the puzzle. Switch this. Done. Better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. See? Nailed it. That is the wrong elevator. What? what? He's right. Groot went down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, I'm sure they both lead to the same place. Your voice does not convey certainty. I'm mostly sure. We gotta make do with what we got. Check it out. More guards for us to sneak past. Rocket, wait for us! He did not wait. Thanks, Drax. The team splits into different paths in an effort to find Groot faster. Rocky, we found him! Over here! Groot! Easy there, bud. I'll get you out in a flat. Whoa! Hey, let's not turn him into kindling. Stand back. I will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. Groot! It's too thick. Who knew? That's it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. On three, two... Oh, that dashed witch stripped you down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but uh, it's way more details. Good to have you back, Root. Now all we need is an exit. Um, I guess Groot knows the way. Well, that was easy. A little too easy. Also, Groot seems a bit off. Perhaps the tree has been bewitched. She did do something to that Taratara. Hey, come on, talk to me, bud. What did that Badoon Flarka do to you? Oh, crap. Guardians of the galaxy. You fools thought you could cheat me and suffer no consequence. Groot. Which one of you thought it wise to entrust your absurd scheme to a Flora Colossus? You call him friend, yet you ignore his very nature, overlooking the fact that he is... The worst liar in history. I told you, he can't just pretend to be monstrous. I guess this means having Rocket be the bait was the better call. However, I did choose Rocket for my previous playthrough, and from what I can remember, it went just about as well, if not worse. This is how decision making in this game ultimately works. Different decisions can provide alternate paths, but ultimately you get to the same destination. Dweller, feast upon them! <laughs> 
this is the first official boss fight. And honestly, it wasn't really that difficult. Sure, I was playing on New Game Plus, but I was also playing on the hardest difficulty. And on my first playthrough, I was playing on the easiest difficulty possible, and I remembered it being much more difficult than this. Maybe I got better at the game. Or perhaps, the various upgrades and character abilities I unlocked for my first playthrough and transitioned into my New Game Plus ended up being a tremendous crutch for this playthrough. I'll let you guys decide on which is the correct answer. After slowly chopping away at the dweller, I finally found my window to end the fight. Well, would you look at that. Taking down this monster has provided us with an escape route. Talk about killing two birds with one stone. Or I guess a giant tentacle monster thing with a blaster and a blade. The team makes a quick getaway back to the Milano and are set to get out of dodge and pay off their fine. What the? It's never fucking easy, is it? So Hellbender is a little upset with us. Fortunately, we're able to throw her off our trail and we finally make our escape. Though something tells me she's not gonna forget this. Your bones are mine, guardians of the galaxy. Yep, she's not gonna forget. She will hunt us to the end of the universe. Who gives us, Scud? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Only after the talking tree betrayed us. I am Groot. I do not speak tree, tree. Hey, you got a problem with Groot, you got a problem with me. Whoa, 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 one problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge, mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No, I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze. Nikki! Is it true? Really? There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? I really need to talk to her. She's with me. Inside me. After you left, we went to the quarantine zone. I sent the board and there was a dark fog. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? I knew you were my dad. I didn't know the Raker said it was a miracle. I think something has happened to the girl. Yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, right. keep your star pants on. Right. I'll go check the array. I can bring her back. I can bring her back. I just have to... That was definitely strange. Man, I am just fantastic at providing input, aren't I? Anyways, power's out. Mark it! Look at what it did! It killed everything! The Scott! <sighs> okay, well that explains the power outage. Now we should probably find a way to contact Novacore since something odd seems to be happening. See if you can pinpoint where Corel is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. There is a next job. God, he's so emotional. Time to find the nearest Novacore outpost. Gamora, did you find- <gasps> Are those dolls? Yes. No. <sighs> Doesn't matter. I wonder if Gamora would ever collect Funko Pops. God, those things are so unnerving. Okay, Corel, get ready to be impressed. Time to take care of this find once and for all. Pay that fine. Finally, we can get rid of this headache. Okay, here we go. If they so much as scratched her paint, we get Novacore to reduce our fine. Good luck with that. It's gross negligence. Negligence. That's what I said. We find the outpost to be a bit empty, which is kind of odd. Designation Milano. Move whoa, to holding whoa, space r 73 l Present validated ticket to kiosk prior to ticket? departure. Relax, Rocket. It's standard procedure. You keep saying that. 
This isn't exactly my first Novacore find. Yours either. First time I'm paying one. I can understand Rocket's anxiety in this situation. I mean, we want to be sure that we're able to leave. Okay, it's not supposed to be this empty. Yep, definitely cause for concern. We're here to pay a fine? Looking for Centurion Corral? Door's locked. Well, we tried. Come on, let's go. Look, the door controls are on the other side if we can get you there. We just have to find a way to get Rocket to the other side. And I shit you not, it took me nearly five minutes to figure out how to get Rocket over there. And it wasn't due to the difficulty of the game or any difficulty solving puzzles. No, it's because I'm a fucking moron. All I needed to do was shoot open the entry point to this vent. One open air duct. Did I mention I'm currently receiving a college education? After Rocket does whatever he needs to do, I'm given an actual puzzle that I need to solve, and it's another one of those watchdog hacking puzzles that aren't really that difficult. Presto! What up? You know, ta-da! That is no more clear. This place looks to be completely deserted, aside from a few robots that are still in operation. There must be something foul at play here. Someone out there? Uh, hey there. You are Nova? Okay, I guess it's not completely deserted. You gotta get me out of here. I don't belong in the cage. Nova Corps begs to differ. Well, no one asked you, scary eyes. We should not be aiding and abetting a criminal. Weren't you a Nova Corps prisoner? Indeed, and I served my time. Do you know about whatever's going on here? Not much. There was a commotion. People were talking about some mother, and then they just left. Corell? Did you see a Centurion or a little Cree girl? That's all I know. Come on, I helped you. Time to help me. I guess that's fair. I mean, he did give us some sort of lead. Oh god, oh god, no, 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 oh shit, 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 oh god. Eh, you know what, if he was in prison, he may have already been a pretty bad guy, so maybe he deserved whatever fate befell him. In my experience, Nova Corps do not permit visitations. You! Oh shit, he's alive? Buddy? Ah! Uh, hey, what now? I guess not. Uh, elevator's out. But the shaft above looks open. We can use it to climb up there. Do we really want to pay this fine and go back to being broke? Please don't fall. Oh, crap! <laughs> okay. Piece of cake. <laughs> I swear, it's like a maze trying to get through this place. Oh, <laughs> oh, the look on both your faces. A bunch of babies. Oh, you were too. We come across a faulty door that, fortunately enough, I'm able to fix thanks to my blaster's freeze ability. All right, let's hope that holds. More nothing. There's got to be an explanation. You heard that guy. They just left, and so should we. He also said something about Corel. He said mother. Everyone's got a mother, Quill. You do not. Jesus, Trax. Rocket, do your magic. No. What? I said no. When are you gonna come to your senses, Quill? Oh my god, why does he have to be like this? Okay, we try one more room, and if we still haven't found anything, we leave. Deal? Fine. One more room, not two. One. Drax finds a Nova Corps helmet lying on the ground, and he offers to let me try it on. Aw, how thoughtful. Vector 1, check in. Sector 1, sweep complete. 75% acceptance rate. It is as she promised. Have faith. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. So it does seem like some Nova Corps still remains at this outpost. However, they don't seem to be acting normal. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Uh, hey there. This thing on. We're uh, we're looking for Centurion Corral. Who is we? We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. We were supposed to meet Centurion Corral to pay a fine. Hello, Guardians of the Galaxy. I would be more than happy to assist you today. Where are you now? We're uh in some sort of monitoring station. Understood. Stay where you are. We will come to you. 
I don't think I like the sound of that. And it seems like the team feels the same way. Huh. It's about flarkin' time. If you can't already tell, nothing good is going to come from this interaction. Where's Centurion Corel? Have faith. She is not with us at this time. Have faith? Really? Anyone else seeing a purple glow around these guys? Clearly, it's just a side effect of ingesting lean. The second most common, in fact, right behind gaining Little Wayne's voice. The past. And that oh my past. god. Oh no. And that's the biggest fuck up. I'm sorry. In all seriousness, these guards appear to be under the influence of something. Something that causes them to talk about faith and some sort of promise. All will be made clear. Once you experience the promise, Actually, we're good. Super good. We'll, uh, we'll just get out of your hair and mail in the fine. Don't worry about it. Or we could do that. As you can see, some of these Nova Corps enemies have shields. These have to be broken down in order to do damage against the enemies. Luckily, these shields happen to be susceptible to freezing. We just wanted to pay our fine! We can work this out! They do not appear to be listening, Peter Quill. God, don't you just love a good ragdoll? After having previous concerns, it's now essentially confirmed that Nova Corps is no longer friendly, which means we now have to make a quick escape. Again. Oh, Looks like a standoff. Clark. Was a standoff. Not good. Clark, Nova killing Nova. Which side won? Clark. There's your answer. Oh man, this is bad. I will not stand here and wait to die. Got a whole lot of <laughs> Looks like we won't be able to leave without getting our hands dirty. The freeze blasters do make things a little bit easier by stunning enemies in place, but elements seem to have a longer cooldown period than the regular blasters, so you can't completely rely on them. Another tip, make sure to use your team members' abilities sparingly during a combat scenario, as they too have a long cooldown period. Using all of your teammates at once can be good for taking down one very strong enemy, but when you have waves of enemies to deal with, you might want to put more thought in who to use and when to use them. Big guy, 12 o'clock! Current time is irrelevant. Bear, kill, now! Ah, that is much more informative. Those who resist must be burned. These larger Nova Corps enemies take a little more work to defeat, as their shields can deflect my freeze blasts, so I have to find an opportunity where I can stun them from behind. The waves of enemies get a bit overwhelming as they start launching bombs at me, so I decide now would be a good time to call a huddle. After that rather strange experience, the team is rejuvenated and go on to fight as the song Everyone's a Winner plays on Peter's cassette. While playing this song may restrict the visibility of this video or end up getting it outright claimed, I just want to have it played for a little bit so you guys can understand what it's like to go absolutely sicko mode while listening to classic music. I don't know what it is, it just makes me lock in for some reason. Eventually, we're able to finish the last of them and we finally can get back to business. I do not think our fire will be paid today. You don't say. Guys, Corel's ship is right there, we just need to- What? What do we need to do, Quill? A whole bunch of whacked out space cops just tried to vaporize us, and you want to go looking for a rematch? So your girlfriend might be in trouble? That's not what I'm doing, and she's not my girlfriend. Could have fooled me. Rocket, the only thing that this is about is getting our ship back. We find Corel, and then none of this is our problem anymore. You're right. It won't be our problem anymore. Because we didn't sign up to be run around halfway across the galaxy by a, a cop love and heal me. I am proud. Come on. Seriously, Corel? Join the Guardian, she said. It'll be good for your mental health, she said. Right. Listen to Flark up. Groot and I are getting off this dast rock. Anyone who'd like a ride can follow us. Everyone else can go to hell. 
Rocket has been awfully irritable this entire chapter. Before we can actually get back to the Milano, there's still a lot of Nova Corps to take care of. So, that's what we set out to do. Glad that's over with. Finally, we get some more quiet time. Hey, you said we needed to go up, right? More up than this, but it's a start. Never thought I'd be fighting Nova Corps again. They are no longer Nova Corps. Yeah, this don't count. But who or what are they? Maybe Corel took her ship back to Xandar to report. Look. Oh, well that looks, uh... That's definitely something. We should probably tell someone. Yeah, tell it to your diary. Come on, down here. So, you think? Yeah, I'll deal with the door. Someone's gotta get us out of here. Whoa! You just cannot get rid of these guys. You know what it is, it's the same exact story, about three minutes of combat, and then we continue on our trail. These doors have been barricaded. It means someone at least tried to resist. Bad lot of good it did them. We don't know that. There could still be others on the station. Uh, is that? Okay, this dude is definitely dead at this point. We finally reached the Milano. <gasps> but what's this? The clamps holding the ship won't release? <gasps> I am so shocked. We have to manually release the clamps holding the ship while dealing with waves of enemies. I bet you guys didn't see that one coming. I get the final clamp released so we can finally make our escape. Now! Move, move, move! should set course for Contraxia. They bear our issues over the course. Zone. Maybe talk to Rocket. Next order of business is to get Rocket on page with everyone else and then fly to nowhere to report our findings to Cosmo. We'll explore these things in the second part of this series. Thanks for watching, and I'll try to get part two released as soon as I can.